Hey, do you want to be on a boat without feeling like you're actually on a boat? Then maybe a swath is right for you. Welcome to luxury cruising. Glide above the waves without any jerky motions. Walk about your accommodation deck unhampered by nasty rolling motions. If this tempts you, come realize the dream of the swath vessel. But it comes at a price. Time to discover if this unique vessel is right for you. Swath? Swath stands for Small Waterplane Area Twin Hull. Fancy acronym. Naval architects searched for a way to minimize the sea keeping motions of a catamaran. They liked the large deck area, but those pesky waves were a problem, bouncing the ship around all the time. The designers noticed that the forces from those waves depended on the width of the amas, more specifically the water plane area. Well now, how can we fix that? They shrunk the water plane area until it was just a small strut, just wide enough to fit a crew member down. All the buoyancy got concentrated into deep submerged hulls, which looked more like a submarine hull. And the swath was born. A vessel with excellent sea keeping because waves exert very little force on it. Now the force of those waves depended mainly on the water plane area. Small water plane meant small wave actions. That's the key to a swath. Swaths are specialized ships with one major goal, excellent sea keeping capability. Swath ships have the same massive deck area of a catamaran with far superior sea keeping capabilities. Now in this video, compare the motions of the mono hull in the foreground to the swath in the background. These reduced ship motions are a major benefit to the crew. In the cases of research ships, the crew may not even be seasoned seafarers. They may get seasick easily, so reduced ship motions help improve crew productivity. That matters. Even experienced seafarers appreciate the smooth gliding motion of a swath vessel. No more rocking around, just gentle swells as the ship gradually rises and slides along the waves. When comparing a swath to your current monohull, be sure to clearly identify the type of motion that bothers you. See, if you feel that your ship is jerking from side to side and knocking you around, a swath might not be the best option. The side to side jerking comes from roll accelerations, which is how quickly you are changing your roll. That is just one small part of the total ship motions. We have retrofit options to deal with roll motions specifically, and those retrofits are far less expensive than buying a new swath. On the other hand, if you are really more concerned about the total ship motions, the entire experience of every single direction, then the swath vessel is probably the best way to go. The excellent sea keeping of a swath comes at a price. First, a swath might be too insensitive to the waves. Imagine that. Imagine a wave crest swelling up, rising higher and higher. But the swath does nothing. It doesn't heave, it doesn't pitch, it doesn't react. And then it crests further and further, driving itself towards your underside of your cross deck. But the swath does nothing. That is, until the wave slams into the underside of your cross deck. Then you get up, woken up with a jarring bane, followed by violent pitch motions. That's something you have to avoid. To avoid waves hitting the cross deck, swath ships are often equipped with active or passive control fins or combinations. These are small underwater versions of airplane wings. They help the ship react to enormous waves and make sure that the vessel still tracks along the larger wave swells. Active control fins require hydraulic machinery, motion sensors, and a control unit. That adds up to a bigger price tag. But remember, all this machinery is part of the magical smooth ride that a swath delivers. 
we have a few other detractors as well. Swaths are extremely weight sensitive. With such slender hulls, swath ships sink down quickly as you add a few extra tons. Say that sentence three times fast. Discipline over your dead weight is key. The engineer can't store 15 spare filters on board. There's just too little weight capacity. The swath ships show minimal flexibility in their cargo capacity. Speaking of engine filters, you're going to need to arrange your ship machinery differently. Conventionally, you'll find the main engine down in your hulls. Well, those submerged hulls in a swath rarely have enough space for a full engine room. The main engines typically get mounted on the main deck, which is great for maintenance, but then they require some complex shafting or a diesel electric arrangement to deliver that power to the propellers in the hull. Arrangements on a swath will get creative. Where to use the swath? Well, research vessels are some of the most frequent swath subscribers. A full boat of scientists and grad students who rarely frequent the sea. Yeah, they will definitely thank you for the days without seasickness. But more important, due to their reduced motions, swath ships remain effective at higher sea states. You can continue your mission even with a storm blowing in. Land lovers are not the only ones who love a smooth ride. Many pilot boats also enjoy a swath, and you're going to find great re reassurance in the safety of a stable platform before you jump over to that inbound freighter. Now don't assume that the swath hull only works for small ships. Some of the largest swath vessels are used in the offshore oil industry. We call these semi-submersibles, or modus. These huge ships can travel out to a drill site and ballast down so that their entire lower hulls are fully submerged. Just four columns breach the water to connect with the cross deck. The swath hull form creates a nearly motionless platform that allows excellent working conditions as they drill the wells. Now combined with dynamic positioning technology, the swath turns a semi-submersible into a moving piece of land. These giants carry hundreds of tons of in drilling pipe, drilling mud, and related machinery. They stand as a testament to that the swath ship is no child's toy. When you think about swath ships, remember sea keeping. Sea keeping, sea keeping. Imagine gently gliding over waves, placidly sipping your tea, while the nearby monohold bounces around like a cork. That serenity is what the swath ships deliver. It comes at the price of several new design challenges, but for the right mission, a swath is worth it. Thanks very much. I'm Nick, the Naval Architect. Active heave compensation. Stability tests done from start to finish. Four ways to break your structure. Statistics and sea keeping. These are just some of the videos that I have planned for the future. If you want to see more amazing videos about ships, then click that like button or subscribe if you're new to the channel. I'll see you next time for more awesome insights about boats.